What's up, what's up, what's guys? Up? It's Irene underscore Jeff, and my good people, welcome back to my channel. So, guys, uh, in today's video, I want to go to another location, but not to sleep, or I'm just going to attend a function. And as you can see, this is our main stage here in Baringo. Uh, actually, I think I'll just uh, let you know by the time I will be ending this video I want to go and meet my father after how many years is it nine or ten years that is since uh, 2016 and basically this is where we bought our cars from so I want to specifically search for the one that goes to our place anyway I don't even know if it should be this or the other one because we have here and another one up there so I don't think it's uh, here yeah, I have seen it so guys let's go together and board the matatu although it's really late it's around 1 p.m. and I should have gone by morning how are you yeah I am Irene yeah instead of calling me content okay I'm a content creator <laughs> but I am also Irene what's your name Bob. 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 Okay. Nice to you. My video. Nice to meet you. Too. Okay. <laughs> you know, guys, he actually called me content creator instead of asking for my name. I think anyway, he was basically asking for. Uh, he want. Okay. This is where I want to go. I don't know if you can see. That is the location that I'm going. It's my oh, camera. It's a man. Yeah. Uh, Indio Gari next time I India oh, how much? Three hundred. Wow. Mm. It has really gone up. Okay, let me go in. So uh, I think I'll just go. Uh -huh. So I'll see you when I alight guys. Guys, so these people they want to know what I'm doing. Yes. I am a content creator. Yeah. Are you mad with me, me being a content creator? No. <laughs> I'm asking you because it's you uh, who is asking. I am okay. Instead of answering, he's just looking at my camera. I do content creation, so let me get into the car. Yeah, and then I will talk to you later. So let me. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. So guys, actually, you know what I'm going to do is to attend. A battle. I think I had earlier told you about it, although I didn't try, like really touch on it so much. It's uh, a brother to a brother to my dad, and at the same time, I will I will be meeting my dad after ten years. Yeah, probably ten years. So the journey is not really far. It's uh, quite near. Although I've really gone really late, it's because I had a lot of activities to attend to. So and at the same time, I came with my kids to uh, my grandmother. So for me, I came to stay with my maternal grandmother. But at the same time, I think I'll take you uh, to a tour of our home back there. Although we are not really that close, no. So currently, I am just in, the main, in our main street. Basically, our main street. And here it's Baringo uh, County. So I was actually looking at uh, this specific building here. I didn't know that um, there is another building that has been constructed. So I think it's been a while. I only left uh, when this building was only there and now I can see another one here. Wow, that's a huge, huge, huge uh, development. So uh, it's really unfortunate, you know, in our area, in our county, like content creation is not that popular and <laughs> people are becoming aggressive, aggressive. So me, I'm waiting for the vehicle to be full and then we just uh, eat the road and go. So good afternoon, guys, from my paternal uh, home, which is a place called Kipsaraman. Actually, it's a very, very, very hard name to pronounce but I'll actually write it down below here so that you may get to know what I'm trying to say so guys uh, this is where my dad comes from basically and this is the shopping center so I want to actually go up to our home and then uh, get to see if there are people I say hello to them 
and later on I leave to where uh, a brother to my dad is being laid at rest but uh, technically this is a very beautiful environment and it's been nine or ten years there I actually not I'm not that accurate with actually calculations since 2016 I was last year the last time that I was here was the year 2016 so basically uh, it's not a it's not a big area like in terms of the development it's a kind of small and it's actually a rural area so when we talk about so I'll first go to home and then I'll come back and pass through here. Oh, my camera was not stable. So I'm not sure if I'll find people home. I didn't ask first. It's just a matter of, um, it's a surprise guys. After how many years? After, uh, guys, kindly do the math for me, kindly. I'm not that good in mathematics. So, um, the reason as to why I want to go say hello to dad, you know, I truly appreciate the fact that he actually never treated us like uh, differently. He treated all of us, his kids uh, equally, took all of us to school, up to university. Like, I am just very, very, very grateful. And as much as I am this kid that actually was born and then they never got married with the mother but at the end of the day I actually got an opportunity to go to school so I hope you understand like it's not a big deal to actually find yourself in such situation because most of us are basically um, like that you know most most of us that's what i can uh say you don't plan for that those i don't i don't even think like it's a good idea to talk about it but to remember the good times that actually we had so uh this is where my basically that's what i can say this is where my father grew up was born grew up went to school like everything everything before he moved out to some other town and started his uh, family and all that so guys um it's a beautiful beautiful uh, i just want to uh, use a certain shortcut here and then i'll take you now to my destination where i want to arrive at last Abari. so we used to have a river here but i can see now uh, it has really dried up but let's go and see the only difference is that um now it has there is a culvert her culvert is like a small bridge something like that but uh when we used to be babies and come here while our grandmother was still alive you know what used to happen this is where we used to come and get our water from but as you can see wow it's dried like totally dried we used to come even and wash our clothes here uh, the cows goats used to drink here but i can see and then now uh, the land here now it belongs to uh, my grandfather all of this but let me take you in and let's get to see wow guys i i actually ask myself how do those people who are actually brought up with biological parents together from when they were young up to old like i always wish i was actually one of them because you always feel like you are part of the family yeah so this is where my daddy comes from but now you see when the grandmother uh, passed on like there's no one to take care of uh, the home 
so guys uh this is where uh, my father grew up in like this is their this is uh, the homestead now my grandmother's place my paternal paternal uh, grandmother's place so this used to be the kitchen so the reason as to why it looks uh, like this is that uh, when she died and actually she died while I was uh, I was in grade five. I think she passed on the same year as my mother, you know. So when she passed on, she was I was staying with one of uh, my auntie who actually saved my life big time. If, if it wasn't for her, we would still be languishing in poverty. For now, I can still, uh, we are not languishing in poverty because at least we can, aff we can afford uh, to eat, you know. So, actually our grandfather used to have a big parcel of land, like all this area, all of them up to up there. It used to be, it is our grandfather's and uh, this used to be the grandmother that uh, gave birth to my dad and other aunts. The home down there is another grandmother and other grandmothers. Actually in Africa, polygamy used to be something which is very common. That's what I can say. And around 2005 2006 there not 2006 <laughs> around 2004 2005 during the holidays april august and december we used to come and spend our holidays here until around august 2005 uh, the grandmother was in uh, my auntie's place because that's where i was raised in and she actually succumbed from a stroke she had stroke and this is where she was buried so uh this is a grave here so i'm just uh showing you it's been actually 2016 up to now how many years so this is her grave over here and it goes all the way to uh there so let me take uh, take you through uh, a, a small tour here so uh, this here used to be the traditional store like when i talk of a store you see the way the farms have already been tilled over here so when the maize is ready they come and put it here but nowadays they don't put it because there is nobody and then uh, this is actually a three bedroomed house like one and then this one it actually has two rooms and the toilet over there like it's a very beautiful environment it's only that uh, there is no one to take care of it but uh, we will go through the, uh, that route and I will show you and then now guys you see in Africa oh someone put uh, their avocado here I think uh, that it, it's the people who are actually uh, tilling the land because it looks like it was recently uh, tilled so what I wanted to say guys you see for uh, in Africa if you have um, uh, boys in your family like the father will actually like uh, give lands to boys by then now or men so uh, my father was given uh, that over there let's go and see if there are people there because even me the last time that i came here was uh, that year 2016 and we I, actually i was experiencing some issues here and there and i remember even uh, in 20 in 2018 there when i was getting married you see that introduction part where the husband's uh, family wants to come and introduce themselves to their family and i brought them here and you know the person who actually has the key to that house i can say that uh she did me so bad like really bad because we plan we plan we plan and then we travel a day before and 
she she doesn't show up to give us uh, to open the house because there nobody like uh, lives most of the time unless holidays that's when you'll find people so you can imagine the way the environment looks like this and we just came like today and tomorrow is uh the function introduction day and we find the situation like this and that house has not been opened it was really uh chaotic i really felt bad and we had to start cleaning here we bought some uh, magazines and put them on the walls I could have opened it, it's only that I don't know who was uh, the key to the house. And then we put magazine so that the house looks at least better. We did our function and they left. I thank God uh, this house existed. Otherwise, I don't know where um, my, I don't know where my what, my visitors or my husband's family would have stayed because they had come from a very far place. So let's go. Let's go to now. I will say uh, I don't know if it's even our home or what, but my dad just constructed that house, and he also has another house in another uh, town, which is called uh, Nakuru. And now uh, let's go and see if there is someone. We say hello to them, and yeah, we head over to the burial site where the burial is taking place, and guys let's hope that we are going to meet someone we say hello to them so this is the farm i am so happy to be here i am so grateful that i came to actually to visit this place to see i wanted to come with my children but i was like wow this is hectic because it's the weather is something else i am surprised that here it is not raining at all but on the way it has been raining a lot a lot a lot so uh let's go so actually the people that farm this land is one of my auntie because she takes care of uh some of the kids that uh you see in an african setup when actually um when how do i explain this in an ex in an african setup when uh when both parents die and the last born is a man they are always supposed to inherit but it was kind of unfortunate um the last born our uncle was kind of into an alcoholism and you know alcoholism is a disease for real we can't blame him for that and yeah it wasn't it wasn't easy for him even uh to keep our family we all understand everything to do with alcoholism so i'm using i want to use the shortcut to get to uh home and then if there is somebody we say hello to them and if there is not we add uh, to the burial site and say hello to the people that are there so uh, uh okay so from uh my grandmother's land my paternal now you know currently we are staying in uh we are staying in maternal uh grandmother's place so if I use the shortcut, the first thing that we will meet is uh, the toilet, which is over here. And then, uh, I don't know what was supposed to be this. I don't know. So let's see. Yeah, I think yeah, I didn't turn, I didn't, I didn't turn to go around. Yeah, I think it's been closed. So this is the beautiful house that my dad constructed. So let's see. I 
I don't know if there is anybody. I don't think there is anyone. I think all of them have uh, left to the burial uh, site. Yeah. Actually, you know, my dad, by then, he constructed this house because uh, he wanted to vie for a political seat. So this is the back area. Okay, guys. So uh, there is no one there, but my dad is actually down here. Let's go and uh, say hello to him. Yeah, I have seen him. Let's go and say hello to him. I think most people, uh, actually we have one of our, uh, I don't know if I should say it. Okay, let's go and meet Irene's dad after uh, nine to ten years, but uh, the calculation is not sure, like I'm not sure of the calculations, 20, 24 minus uh, 20, 16, I think it's eight years, yeah, so guys, finally, 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 meeting my dad after uh, eight, is it eight, nine, or ten years, wow, wow, so uh, this is where my dad was laid to rest, well, I think I should have come earlier so that I can clean this place. But again, even if I want to clean, where will I get even the buckets and everything? So you see, this is my dad. I really respect this man and appreciate him at the same time because if it wasn't for him, guys, I don't know where uh, Irene would have been right now. I don't know where I would have been right now. Because you can imagine, uh, with the fact that, actually, uh, I don't know how to explain this. Okay, I just appreciate the fact that uh, he took me to school. Okay, this one is even coming out. Oh my God. I appreciate the fact that he always uh, treated us the same, you know. That's what I always appreciate him about. It is so sad to uh, lose someone like him. Oh, well, I don't know him. Uh, oh, guys. He deserves the best because he always gave us the best like with him even going to school was never an hassle or like never ever it was never an hassle let me see if i can even get some water and wash at least uh, if i leave i know i actually left uh, better i left him in a better condition than I found him. Yeah. I don't know if I'll find a bucket. I don't know if I'll find a bucket. Or even water. Oh. No bucket. Yeah. So I'll just look for uh, a sweep and then just clean it and maybe next time, next time I will actually uh, come with, I will come with a uh, let me use this to do some cleaning and then we head over to the next. Ooh. This uh, man, my dad was the best. He was the best of the best. 
he was a man of the people me i will forever be grateful to him because uh, you can imagine he had already started a family and me on the other side i was uh, kind of i was actually uh, suffering and my auntie connected uh, me to him and he accepted to take me to school so he really deserves the best i wish next time when i come i will actually come with uh, cleaning i will come with cleaning uh, oh my god this is not going to help but i just next time when i come guys next time you know what i will do i'll bring uh i'll bring soap a bucket water and everything i'll just come prepared i'll come prepared and do everything but i would just love to say may your soul rest in peace you know you know if if actually uh, there is someone who can never complain of a deadbeat father it's me i will never ever never ever never ever complain that my father neglected me despite all the challenges that was happening within that surrounding by then he never neglected any of his child he never ever neglected any of his child that is what i am really appreciative about and yeah i think this place really needs uh, to be cleaned and well guys what do you think i should do should i come tomorrow and with all everything should i come again and just bring everything and do the cleaning just to show respect there is no big deal here no big deal here guys like i'm not here to actually make anyone else uh to look like a bad person i am not i am not here to make anybody look bad because you know maybe there is someone who has been allocated uh the job of taking care of this home that i am sure maybe there is someone and for me you know i just appreciate the fact that he was a, a very very good man a very good father like guys you, there is another burial going uh, on down there uh -huh. in this other direction here i think guys what do you think i should do like i just feel like i, I really want to clean this place to look nicely but i feel like i don't have the items to do the cleaning yeah because they normally look very awesome when they are cleaned when they are clean i really love this man and the fact that uh, when i say this man it's my father the fact that um i always appreciated him the fact that i always appreciated him and always told him that i loved him despite uh, the challenges that was going on by then it always gives me peace it always gives me peace i always told him that i tr i really appreciated everything that he does uh, for me even if it wasn't much like even taking me to school like and ensuring that at least me for me i just appreciate i always appreciated him and i will never stop appreciating him like i will never ever i will never ever yeah he was a man of the people a man of the people because even uh he supported so many schools around this place guys i think i should plan to come back and do a proper cleaning here i think i should come back and uh, do a proper cleaning here guys help me appreciate uh, my father for taking me to school yeah even if he will not hear it like physically at least uh, his spirits will hear and may god uh, 
bless you forever and ever you are always uh, good and you will forever be good a good person a good father and the fact that uh, when I walk around uh, my town here in Kabarnet and but currently I am in another location which is Kipsaraman so the fact that I always walk uh, in Kabarnet in Eldoret and I just mention my surname when I just mention my surname people will be like yeah I know that family uh, whose daughter were you specifically and I will tell them uh, the name of my dad and you know they will be like yeah I need I know that man he was a very good man you know in actually at some point in his career before he ventured into business he used to work for a radio station he used to be a broadcaster he used to eat or a radio presenter and guys what can I say I'll plan uh, one day I come back with everything all the equipment the detergents and do the cleaning just to appreciate him from the bottom of uh, my heart you know and the reason that he actually constructed this house it's because you know what it's because he wanted to venture into politics and you know in politics you can't actually vie if actually you don't have a home in the place that you want to vie so you opted to build this home but again his dream never like uh, came to pass because he even uh, passed on before uh, the nomination and everything. He was even supposed to be given a direct uh, ticket. So my good people, it's raining. It's, it wants to rain and I want now to rush to the burial area where they are laying, uh, uh, they, are, they want to lay the brother now. Uh, my dad's brother is now late so let's go together and attend this funeral so uh, the fenced part is, uh, is actually my uh, late dad's land but it's now being taken care of by uh, his wife who is my stepmother now and yeah i thank god for everything that's what i can say i thank god for life for everything you know so let's go to the other burial area and get to see what is happening oh, well well oh. well so people are, are tilling the land now oh. Uh, planting season wants to start and as you can see uh, it's even drizzling but when I was coming it was raining heavily on some part so what I can say about my grandfather he used uh, to work very very hard he was a workaholic he used to work extremely extremely hard like extremely hard guys and he acquired okay actually i can say that he's one of those people whom uh, during the colonial period went to school because after that you know what happened he acquired uh, huge pieces of land because this is not the only family the, it, it is not the only family uh, here other families are in other towns for real for real other families are in other towns and now you can see the children of our uh, uh, my aunties that's uh, or basically uh, my aunties my uncles are uh, the people that are tilling the land right now it's in news right now very awesome and you know he divided the land in such a way that this is another uh, child of our grandfather or another dad of mine that was actually given this piece of land to till do everything he lives there and he's a bachelor i don't know why he doesn't want to marry i don't understand why he doesn't want to marry so my good people they are also heading over to uh 
another grandmother of ours and uh, for this actually our grandfather is uh, laid to rest over there and the grandmother just died recently it's not it's not been uh, long since she was laid to rest and she died as a bishop at eight years around one year ago so uh, this is the land of uh, the other grandmother and we have the house here so when i ju when i just arrived there i'll show you and we used to have a stream here a, a stream passing through here but it's dry season like literally dry season so there is no water you know this is an arid and semi-arid area you know so i don't know if i should uh go to the grave of our grandfather and uh, the other grandmother and then we now head over to the function where the burial is uh, taking place so i don't know if anybody lives here i don't know so the grandmother here also has uh, the children like you see how beautiful this compound is so yeah and actually she had uh, an awesome house another one a store a kitchen over there wow i just guys i uh, don't mind i think someone lives here it, it looks like a place where uh somebody lives because i can see even uh like some activities were just taking place like it looks it doesn't look like an abandoned area like the other side where uh, the mother that gave birth to my dad uh, is the, this area doesn't look abandoned so uh, this is another place oh, oh they, are, they are bad so yeah you can see pasta who pasta alice so this is my other grandmother and then now this is our grandfather you can see he was born in 1920 i hope you can see 1920 up to 1994 actually i didn't see him i didn't see him so him being uh, buried here in this uh, land it means that this is uh, the last this was uh, the last wife that he had you know but the land was actually his so you can imagine this grandmother used to stay here our grandmother just uh, where we came from here so you can imagine so i think nowadays people use it as a uh, through way here because you know people are not there like the owners are not there but the family is just taking care of uh, the land so I'm going to use another uh, route down here there is a shortcut instead of going back and then now I don't know even if there is a route anymore there used to be a route here there used to be a route where uh, uh, people used to pass but I don't know if uh, it is there anymore but I can just I, I can just see that people have made something like a route I don't know to go to where let me see if it will take me out of the compound yeah so yeah I think yeah people have actually made it oh wow I think I should go down and then yeah it habari Watu wanapita huku? Ni njia saa hizi? Hapana. Eh. Leo tu. Oh, leo tu peke yake. Ah, lakini nakaa inatumika kila siku. Maybe hao ni wanaweza ngombe huko. Oh, mangombe. Oh. Uko salama. Unaitwa? Eh? Unaitwa nani? Unaitwa Kosti. Oh, sawa sawa. Mimi naitwa Irene. Sawa sawa. Kwa naunda video yangu hapa. Hii ni una tunatokea huko chini. Eh. Yeah. Juu zamani tulikuwa tunatokea hapa. Yeah. So guys I'm uh, telling Austin that when we used to visit our grandmother we used to use 
the other side but now I can see another route here leading us outside uh, the compound so uh, let's over, let's head over to uh, the burial uh, uh, area guys I hope you um, loved watching this video and see everywhere people uh, keep bees or they do beekeeping so the last time that i was here we used to actually have a route inside here inside the compound leading us outside but now i think uh, this route the public uses it yeah i think it's because uh, the, the owners are not frequently uh, there like the owners are not there basically but the family takes care of everything here you can even see the animals the cows it belongs to grandmother's children who are our uncles our aunties so now we are going to go up here and see the beautiful beautiful scenery this is an hassel area basically yeah oh when i was a oh okay guys there is a tank here which has water and i was asking if they sell because where i am staying they sell water uh, to us we literally buy guys uh let's head over to the burial area oh uh, let's now go to the burial area or the location and oh it is very Healy guys so this was an emotional emotional video to me uh, given the fact that I came to say hello to dad oh my god I think I should just so we have the main gate on the other side I don't know if this I think this one is closed Walifunga nga iki? Walifunga? Wa? So lazima tuzunguke? Kuna gate hapa? Walifunga hii mwana. So guys, when I used to come to uh, my uncle's place, it's actually dad because he's the brother to my dad. We used to pass here. But I can see like <sighs> they closed it and they didn't even close it like uh, recently. So, let me follow Mr. Austin. Oh, oh. So, guys, uh, let me look for what I drink because now my throat is dried. So guys, uh, we are almost arriving, and Mr. Austin, Abari Dere, wake kanga ya white na manisha, ya white, mtu old ama, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I was trying to ask the driver here uh, when actually this they came for the same function to lay to rest uh, my dad, and when they put a white string on the car or even when uh, the children and the wife wear anything white it means that uh, they are celebrating his life or her life like he was an old person or she was an old person but if it's a young person they always put red uh, string Asante they, they always put a red string for young people to show that he still or she still had a future or she or he still had uh, goals to actually fulfill but it's like a regret like they're actually regretting the death of the person but if it's an old person they use a white string to celebrate it will not be mourning but a celebration so the function is down there i hope you can even listen hear the uh, microphone so that's why i am i am heading to so guys uh, the function is almost over and actually we are heading uh, personally i'm heading there but most of the people are like coming out so uh, 
This is how it normally looks in the life. Yeah. I think most of the people are reading now. I'll get back later. So that was uh, some kind of business. So this is a traditional way. How are you, sir? Fine. How much do you charge for this? I'm trying to. I am, I am creating my YouTube. Oh, you're YouTube? How much do you charge for one? I came with it. Oh, it depends. Oh, it depends, like uh, this. It depends, at times 50, that good. But you should be having a flat rate. 50 shillings. Yeah. Flat rate. Also, those ones are yours? Yeah. The other ones. Oh, it's for two different people. Yes. Yeah. So what happens if, if, like, you don't sell some? Maybe you have two or one remaining. Oh, it's on a route denial. Why? Why don't you look for the person and convince them to buy? Uh, you can't called? do that because now that will be something like I'm a loss. Record, eh? Yeah, I'm recording my video. Uh, your name? You will go and uh, check me out. Uh, I'm actually pardon? part of the family. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why can't you look for the person and convince them to buy? Yeah, huh? that's what I'm doing. I do want to open the home and I can Okay, let me leave you to yeah, it's one ah, yeah. You should call me Saturday. <laughs> so guys, uh, let me say hello to some of the family members and then uh, maybe uh, I can leave. So.
I think the last time here yeah, it was basically 2016. So I'll wait for them, then I can uh, say hello. I think that's the best thing. But it didn't look like this by then. I am happy that the homestead has really changed in a positive way. Yeah. When I came last, uh, there was a house here, like a big one. The other side was uh, the kitchen, but now it's got uh, working. So let me wait for them and say hello. So guys, uh, the battle is over. He has already been made mm. to rest. And because the space is small, they only allow immediate family member like immediate i hope you understand immediate so i hope you can see the grandchildren uh, with the flowers like it's just a normal burial it's a christian uh, burial definitely so uh, the space is small that's why you can see some people down there us we are on this other uh, side and the topography of uh, the land basically you can see it's down here and i hope you can see also this other area so you can see a lot of i don't know there is a as much as you see a lot of trees it's an asal and area yeah when i talk about asal it's arid and semi-arid area uh, definitely so for me what i can say is may actually god may he rest in eternal peace i think that's uh, the best thing that i can say to him may he May his soul rest in eternal peace. Uh, we were, this is our Baringo so, like, It's really hard to find a place which is uh, flat. Like, it's extremely hard. Our Actually, our topography is like this. But uh, surprising, in other counties like uh, Wasingishu and the trans region, you'll find very flat areas, and that is why they do a lot of uh, farming at the same time. So here we are enjoying uh, hot. something like hot, not calm, yeah, but it's not cold. But uh, of course, no much uh, malaria unless when you go to the lowlands. And the lowlands are now the part of the area. So. <laughs> so guys, uh, me, I'm saying goodbye to the event right now. Actually, uh, it has been an emotional day, that's what I can say. And guys, you know, it's a very sensitive event to be sincere. And that is why you will not see most of uh, this event in this video. That's what I can basically say. Because, you know, something like this is very sensitive. And for me, I only managed uh, to like um, film these parts which are not uh, sensitive but from my background you can clearly see that it's over and what can we say that uh, may God rest his uh, eternal uh, soul in peace yeah may God rest his soul in peace that is what I can only say so what I'm doing I'll actually wait for my one of my auntie to see if there is a space in her car so that uh, she may actually it's called lift you know in basically the, when you use that word you you don't expect to pay anything because it's like someone supporting you you know so i think i'll end this video here and guys uh is tim irene kindly let's put the family in prayers that is what i can say because you know this time is a very trying moment and you'll forgive me because for real i couldn't like uh, post most of this uh, event because if it would have been something like a celebration a wedding i would have posted from the time that you are starting and progressing on until the end but for this we have to be selective like select where to film where, what to film just something like that so 
you know, since I came to my paternal, is it a paternal uh, location area or what? When you want to describe your location, like where your father comes from, like since I came to this place, like the most question that I've been asked, what is this that I'm holding? Imagine even my cousin who teaches in a national school here in Kenya, in Nairobi. He's asking. Wow, she doesn't even know what a GoPro is. <laughs> oh God, so surely. It's, it's a GoPro. Yeah. So last time when actually I was going for an interview in Nairobi, this is where I slept her house. Yeah, I know you didn't watch the video, but I really appreciated you and your family. Thank you. I, I know you don't, you don't know how, but I did in that video, and my people were so happy about it. So, you yeah, are most now, welcome. Now I have a GoPro, and yeah, let me go. Say hello, Let's say goodbye. Bye. And your name? My name is Milka. Yeah, Milka is my cousin. Yeah. Yeah, I will Thank see you tomorrow. You. See you, bye. Next time. You're doing well. You're doing okay, well. okay, okay, okay. <laughs>